Good morning, everybody. I'm Teresa Perrin, and this is my stock market watch list for Tuesday, December 20th, 2022. Please remember that nothing I say is financial advice and always do your own DD. Remember, this is solely a watch list. I am not telling you to buy, sell, or hold any positions. Guys, if you could smash that like button for me, I'd greatly appreciate it as it helps with the algorithm. Lucid, ticker LCID. All right, guys, this has been beat down hard this past year. And if you notice, it is trying to break out of a bull flag. And they announced in the after hours that they completed their funding, um, which AKA is dilution, but it is complete. And guys, I do believe that Lucid could see a strong move to the upside today based on that news. ICCM. Okay, if you follow me on Twitter, you know that I tweeted out that this was the signs of a classic pump and dump in the after hours yesterday. This shot up all the way from like $1 to $11 on news regarding their treatment for, I believe it's kidney cancer where they do something with um, cryonosis, like they freeze um, the person or the the tumor um, and remove it that way. But guys, there was something that I saw in there about five adverse effects that I don't think the scanners that are reading this picked up on and reacted to. So I expected this to dump, which it did. However, um, you know, I don't know the full details of the study and is certainly worth keeping on your watch list. If it could run like that in after hours after this initial dump, when it finds its bottom, um, which is it doing in pre-market? I'm not sure guys, because you better believe that these market makers are gonna wanna get their hands on shares cheap if indeed they do believe that this stock is gonna be a banger. So, um, you know, keep an eye. Could it continue running after this dump? Absolutely. Could it also dump some more? Absolutely. That's a pretty big gap to fill if, you know, you count the after hours time all the way back down to a dollar. So I just don't want anyone to be caught being a bag holder. If you do take this play, it has a very low float and I suggest you use a stop loss. BXRX. All right, this is coming off a recent reverse split and it is pumping in pre-market. I'm not quite sure why. Um, I took a small position in this stock to see what it did because of what's been going on with some of these reverse split plays. Again, it's like literally a few shares um, and I've been watching it, but I think it could make a move today. So keep an eye on it. COSM. All right, guys. If you haven't seen the video I put out last night, feel free to watch it. I do discuss what's going on here. And today, guys, I'm kind of conflicted. I definitely think that tomorrow, um, as long as that offering they did completes, that this will pump. But guys, the reality of that offering is it appears that some of that funding was coming from shareholders and the CEO himself. Yet the article makes it, you know, right at the end, probably where people aren't paying attention. So of course, market makers were able to dump on this stock yet again. I do expect that this is not done and that in the coming days, um, you will see a rebound rally. Therefore, it is high on my watch list and I'm looking for a potential time that would be great to enter. Uh, notice the numbers that I screenshot it at, 666. Kind of funny considering everything that market makers have done to this stock. Anyways, just saying. All right, let's see. Mullen Automotive, M-U-L-N. Guys, I really believe that Mullen has a strong future ahead of it, despite all the speculation. Um, I did a video on this as well last night. If you haven't seen it, I suggest you watch it because there's important updates to the shareholders vote. Um, and I do believe that Mullen Automotive is going to be a banger and that 26 cents is a joke. Guys, even if they reverse split, I mean, the reality of the situation is it may actually help the stock. And I'm just being real when I say that. I think I missed something. AUVI, glad I went back. All right, guys, AUVI um, is made huge announcements this morning. They acquired two other companies and I do believe that you are going to see strong moves forward in AUVI. They, um, they acquired P-U-R-O and L-E-D for about 20 million. Um, so you can see 
disinfectant technology innovator Applied UV announces two acquisition agreements. So guys, this company is growing. It's making great news. And I do expect to see AUVI continue making moves to the upside. Just be careful because clearly Wall Street has been tanking this every time it gets a run. Um, but guys, I do believe you're going to see a, a, a strong movement in this stock today. Uh, we already did that. Sorry, I'm trying to catch up because I knew I skipped one. All right, Hellbiz, H-L-B-Z. Guys, I believe that this potentially found its bottom. I hope it found its bottom yesterday. It is trying to move up in pre-market. I want to see it get that push through 15 and shoot straight back into the 20s again. This is another one, guys, where potentially it could get a reverse split. I know the CEO is doing everything in his power to avoid that. Um, and if you heard my watch list yesterday, I told you that they sent out um, circulars regarding something they did back in October with the company, but they have to notify shareholders. And I noticed on there that Guy Adami, if you watch CNN, has a very large position, 75, well, not very large, but a large enough to put on their uh, position, 75,000 shares. So quite interesting. TME, Tencent Music Entertainment. All right, guys, TME and Tal, you're going to hear me talk about um, as long as they continue on this uptrend because there's not a whole lot of green in this market. And these are two that despite the fact that they seem to pull back most mornings um, early around this time, at least that I've noticed, they are in an uptrend and definitely worth keeping on your radar. Both of them are in strong uptrends and I do believe that you see a continuation. As I said, TAL is the other one, T-A-L. S-M-M-T, oh, let me go back to T-A-L for a minute. Guys, once we get through 963, which is our next real resistance level, um, guess what? It goes straight to $19 and change. I think it's like $19.56 or something off the top of my head. Um, because there's a huge gap fill. There's nothing blocking it in between. So expect to see Tal have a major, major run in the very near future. SMMT, guys, this has been a favorite of mine for quite a while now. I did a video on this as well, so I won't bore you with the details. However, I do think this is gonna push back above five and continue making its next leg up into the sixes. All right, CABA, C-A-B-A. Guys, you, if you've been watching this channel, you have been in this play since 80 something cents. If you took it with me, you could have even gotten it lower because after I took it, it ran, came back down. I decided to keep my position because I'm swinging this um, and it dipped into the 50s. So you had opportunity there and it just kept on going, guys. It does get pullbacks 100%, but I do believe that you're going to see this break out and make its next move higher. So keep C-A-B-A -A on your radar. And my target on this one, my starting target is somewhere around $11. If you look at the two-year chart, you will see why. C-O-M-S. All right, guys, this is another one that I think is ready for another breakout. As you can see, it's making a pennant right now. It looks like we're trying to complete that pennant. It looks a little bit sideways towards the end, but I think that's because of after hours trading. Um, but I'm expecting this to push. Once you see it break nine, I expect it to keep going higher. So I would watch, um, you know, if you don't have a position in this already, I would wait for that nine cent break. It's a penny more, guys, but it's security because... You know, at this point, could it go either direction? Yeah, it could. I'm more um, gearing towards the side of it breaking to the upside. It tried very hard yesterday to get through that nine uh, nine cents. Um, and that's what I'd like to see it break for, for confirmation of a move to the upside. XCUR, this is running in pre-market and it's because they um, announced that the owner, CBI USA, acquired a total of 3,400,000 shares. So that's XCUR. The other one on my list is VRNA. And guys, VRNA is up after the company reported results of its phase three enhanced one trial evaluating nebulized encephentrin for the maintenance treatment of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. So respiratory disease, which we all know right now with COVID and the flu are major. So that's VRNA. All right, guys, I'm just going back. XCUR, because I know I only left it on it for a minute, was the other ticker that I was just talking about. 
let's look at what is moving this morning. We have ICCM, XCUR, VRNA, MNPR, and AUVI. Guys, I don't know what's going on with MNPR. That is the only one on here that is not on my watch list. All right, top losers, AXLA, SLNO. I think SLNO did a little pumpy dumpy type movement yesterday, but keep this on your radar because sometimes they do that, then come back. I don't know if it gapped up or what the deal was. I did see it running. Um, told people yesterday on Twitter when I saw it, congrats to those in it. I'm not chasing and I didn't, and this is why. MRDB, MTEX, EUDA. Now guys, if it goes back, retest that bottom and moves to the upside, that would be the time I'd consider entering that. So interesting that it's on the top losers this morning. All right, technical analysis top list. Oh, my NNDM isn't here anymore. Um, SIOX, SBH, JKS, CERE, and WPC. That's all I got for you guys today. I hope you have a wonderful day and thank you so